So yung next natin is uh, identify natin kung ano yung degree net order of differential equation. So ano nga ba yung order of differential equation? Order of differential equation is the highest of derivative in the equation. Yung degree naman, exponent of order of the derivative. So, meron tayong example number 1. So, second derivative of x with respect to t plus k squared x. So, para makuha natin yung degree, kailangan muna natin kunin yung order. So, yung order is highest derivative in the equation. So, ang highest derivative in the equation sa example number 1, ito. Yan. So, second order siya. So, ngayon, yung degree naman, exponent of the order of the derivatives. So, yung exponent niya is 1. So, first degree. So, skip muna natin itong number 2. So, itong number 3, y triple prime minus 3y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. So, ano siya? Third order. Ito yung highest derivative. Third order. So, number 4. X times second derivative of Y with respect to X plus Y dy over dx plus 4Y squared is equal to 1. So, yung order niya is second order. So, yung exponent nito 1. So, first degree. Number 5. First order. First degree. So, yun ang number 3 para is first degree din ko. Exponent niya is 1. So, tingnan natin itong number 2. So, ang kailangan ko dito is yung dy over dx. So, ngayon, so, kailangan ko yung dy over dx. So, ngayon, gusto, dapat ito matanggal. So, i-divide ko yung buong equation by dx. So, dapat yun ngayon. Uh, first order and first degree. The next one is yeah, first degree. So, ito ang DX na ito, cancel to. Cancel yan. Ito, wala rin to. So, DY over DX. So, meron pa tayong example, yung number 6. So, yung order, so order of differential equation is the highest of the derivative in the equation free from square root. So, nagbigay tayo yung sample. Square root of x equals din yan sa x raised to 1 half. 
the radical is converted to x raised to 1 half. So, meron tayong example. The square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared is equal to y times third derivative of y with respect to x. So, para makuha mo yung order, dapat free from square root. So, ito, so ito may isang 1 plus dy over dx squared times raised to 1 half. Oh, rule, rule of conversion of radical to exponent. So, kaya naging 1 half yan. It's equal to y times third derivative of y with respect to x. So, ngayon, dapat mawala itong 1 half. So, anong gagawin ko? Eh, multiply ko yung equation sa yung buong equation sa exponent of 2. So, mangyayari, makakansin to. 1 up. Pag isang 2 over 2. O, cancel yan. Tapos ito, multiply ko naman to dito sa equation. dito saka dito so ang resulting equation natin resulting equation is 1 plus dy over dx squared is equal to y squared quantity third derivative of y with respect to x squared so yung order natin is third order so, yung, yung exponent, third order, yung exponent is second degree. So, yung final, final topic natin, what, what are the type of solution to differential? What are the type of solution to differential equation? So, meron tayong dalawa. Dalawang solution. General solution and particular solution. In general solution, the solution has at least one arbitrary constant. One or more. Basta may ito, ito yung constant na tinatawag. For example, x plus 3y plus c is equals to 0. Yan ay general solution. Yung particular solution naman, sa solution that has no arbitrary constant. So, yun yung dito, yung constant is defined na. Example, 2xy plus y squared times 2 is equal to 0. So, sa differential equation, para kasi ka differential equation, ay babalik ka sa original equation. So, yan ang purpose ng differential equation. So, dyan nagtatapos yung topic natin sa day 1. At sana may natutunan kayo. So, meron tayong assignment para sa So, day 1. Give five differential equation and determine number one, kung ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation. Number two, linear or non-linear. Number three is the degree and the order of differential equation. So, yan ang assignment. Assignment nyo para sa day one.